Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you how to test a Java DTC XA transaction in a SQL Server database. Uh, the steps here are a prerequisite for those who are going to use the master data management tool. Okay, the agenda for the video. First, the steps here, they apply just for the Microsoft SQL Server database. MDM has this requirement for work with DTC or distributed transaction in the, the SQL Server. Uh, the details are in the Master Data Management Installation Guide. It refers to this section here. Uh, we can see uh, it requires to configure Microsoft SQL Server for distributed transactions. In order to, to do this testing, we need to download this test XA utility and test it as it's going to be shown in this video. Since it's a Java program, you need to compile it, so we need a Java C. In order to, to have a, the compiler, you need to have a client machine with the Java development kit available. And also, you need the JDBC driver. Let me show you now. Okay, first you need to go to this Microsoft website here, this link, and it has some useful information about the XA transactions. So over here you just scroll down, go to the bottom of the page, and you are going to see this Java code here. What do you do? is that you just copy it and save in a notepad. So I just copy it, then open a, a notepad. I'm going to paste it here. What you need to do is that you need to save it in any directory as, let's call it test xa.java. Okay, after you have saved it, what you need to do is that you need to change this information here. Um, this is the SQL Server database, the port number, port number it is listening, the database name, the username, and the password. Let me change it now. Okay, I just changed the, this is the IP address of SQL Server, the port number, the default one. The database name, in my example here, is called Sport. I'm going to test it using the CMX system, database user, and its password. Now I need to compile this program, but by, but before I compile it, I need to download this JDBC driver. So I I go here under this uh, another Microsoft link and select this version here. Microsoft JDBC driver 4.0 for SQL Server. I hit click. There are a few options here. You can download uh, an executable or a tar file. I'm going to download this tar. Okay. I have this location here I'm going to just replace I have done this before I'm going to uncompress it here yes to all because I have done already this step it's uncompressing just create this folder okay this is the JDBC driver that I'm going to use so I just copy this path that I'm going to use it to compile my program. Okay, Java C, class path. I'm going to paste the 
location. I'm going to use this driver SQL JDBC for dot jar. Test XA dot Java. Let me run it. So it's compiling. Now I have this class file, class file here. It's my compiled Java program. Now I'm going to run it. Okay, I just compiled the program, the Java program. Now I'm going to run it. I'm going to use this command line Java uh, dash cp for class path space dot semicolon here because our Windows environment. The location where my uh, SQL JDBC for .jar file, my JDBC driver is located, and test XA the name of the Java program. Now I'm going to run it. Okay, it's running. As you can see, uh, it created the following output: write and read. What does it mean? It means that this Java program was able to connect to the SQL Server database, create a dummy table, was able to cr insert a row into this dummy table, and also was able to read this row information and print it out here. So uh, all these steps have just worked fine as a DTC transaction. And if for any reason any of them just fail, we recommend you to get in contact with the Microsoft su support team uh, to get some help from them since this is a Microsoft Java program related to and the SQL Server uh, database. So in summary today you have learned how to test a Java DTCXA transaction in SQL Server. It's a requirement in order to use the master data management tool. You can get the Java code from this link. The JDBC driver can be downloaded from this another Microsoft link. But both are available under this Informatica knowledge base article 516599. Would love to hear from you. Please get in touch by support videos at informatica.com or by Twitter. InfoSupport. Thank you.